is up guys Quinkin here and welcome to my Iox career mode I decided to restart this career mode because I was looking at the comments uh, for the previous episodes of this series and people um, that really do love Iox and know the Iox system they were commenting down below that uh, I didn't know what I was doing and uh, I agree with them I was buying a bunch of players um, I, I bought Rui Patricio I bought uh, Fabian Scar and uh, you know the Iox system is to Put lots of money into your youth and to bring them up and then sell them uh, for a good amount of money. And I want to apologize because I'm not I'm not really familiar with Dutch football. I'm not really familiar with uh, the Dutch teams, but I'm trying my best. I'm barely 18 years old. Uh, I do know uh, I'm, I think I know a lot about football, uh, but you know uh, I still have to learn a lot about different teams. Uh, but uh, I decided to restart it, and um, instead of buying old players. And uh, selling all my players, I'm gonna really, really focus on the youth uh, in Ajax. I will make some signings, but it will be players that are 22 years old and younger. And I will strengthen this Ajax squad. And uh, players uh, that have a good season, I will have to sell them uh, to get good money. And then I will have to um, spend more money on my youth. But we do get the objectives for this season and we are expected to win the league title and uh, you know I really don't care about the objectives of the board. I personally think that uh, if I try my best and our team does well we should be able to win everything. Obviously in the Champions League they do want us to get out of the group stages but uh, you know I will at least try to make it to the quarterfinals. But this is a squad that we started off with. We have Silicon in goal, uh, Van Rijn as a right back, Veltman as the center back. Uh, joining him is Moislander, and then we have uh, Boylson as a left back. We have Deli Blind, um, Klaassen, uh, we have Cedero, and in the right wing we have Scone, uh, Striker, we have Sigperson, and we have Boyan as a left wing. Obviously, I'm going to change this. I don't like Sigperson as the striker, and I, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce these guys' names. I'm not European. I think that's how I say it. Sigperson. I think that's how I say it. Not really sure, but I'm switching the squad around because I want better players in. Obviously, I want Sim De Jong to play because he is a very good player on this team. And uh, players that I'm really looking forward to are Van Rijn. I'm looking at Dal Dali Blind, and uh, I'm looking at Sim De Jong. I'm looking at Boyan. I'm looking at Fisher, and uh, I'm putting in Fisher in the squad because that guy is a beast. Ajax has a lot of great young players that I can work with and this is a squad uh, that I put in. Uh, we have Silicon in goal, we left him. Uh, we put Van Rijn, Veltman and Moislander. So we left the back four, that's a pretty solid defensive line. But in the midfield we did change it. Uh, we have Dali Blin uh, and uh, Klassen, Sim De Jong in the midfield. And those three midfielders work so well together. I can't wait to play with them. But we have... Um, we left Scone as the right winger. We put uh, we put as striker. We put Boyan and we put Fisher as the left winger. So I have very high expectations for this team. And uh, you know we have lots of players in our team that are playing for the Netherlands national team right now. Uh, I'm sorry, the Dutch national team right now. And uh, you know we have lots of young promising players. I do have a short list of players I want to buy. Uh, but uh, all you Ajax fans down below, uh, please leave a comment. What should I do with my career mode? And which players should I sign? Should I just invest in our youth program? Or should I buy young players to make this team better? Because there are some places uh, in our team, some areas where we have old players that we really don't need. Uh, but I will keep them. Uh, but, you know, I would rather have a younger player in that older player's position. But this is a bench. Uh, we have uh, Vermeer as the goalkeeper. We have Lig Ligian, Lig Ligian, Ligian as the right back. Uh, we have Denswell as the center back. I know that he starts every game, but I really don't like his stats. Uh, we have Duarte as the center mid. Also, Serrero. And we have Kishna. And we have Sigurdsson on the bench. So that, that's our bench. Obviously, I will be rotating players around uh, when I get into more games. Uh, I, re I really don't like Sigurdsson, man. I don't like his ass. 
Uh, I, I know, I think he's from Iceland, Norway. Don't really know where that guy's from. Uh, but this is a short list of players that I was talking about. We have Frederik Sorensen, and all these players are very young. The oldest player that I shortlisted is 23 years old. Uh, we have Tin Yedvai. This guy is Croatian. He's a center back, 17 years old, very, very young. We have Marcus Henriksen. He's a center midfielder, 20 years old, very good young midfielder. We could use him. And we have Arkudizic. I really don't know how to say this guy's name. Arkudizic Milik. Uh, but I'm going to try to sign all these players. Uh, at first, I did try to sign them off for around 1.5 million because they're very young players. And, uh, you know, they really don't play that much with their squad. Uh, but uh, I did put them all for 1.5 million bid. But obviously, they're not going to accept that. They're, are, although they're still young players, um, they're not going to want barely, uh, like low money, cheap money uh, to sell their players. So um, I, I did put a 1.5 million bid for them. And Milik is on loan to another team. So I'm going to have to try to target him next season and try to get him into our team. He's a very good striker. And people are saying that he is going to be going to Ajax next season. But they did reject uh, the offer for 1.5 million, uh, so I had to put a offer of 2.5 million and see what they say about that. I'm trying to be very cheap because I want to sign a lot of players. Uh, well, not a lot of players. I want to sign the players I really want and then put the money into the youth project. Now we do get an offer for um, one of our defenders, and I was thinking about it because this guy is 28 years old, but I rejected the offer and decided to keep him. Uh, and then I had to make more offers uh, for the other players. Tin Yedva, I can't go after him because Roma barely purchased him. So I can only go after two players. So uh, I had to pay $7 million for Henriksen and $4 million for Sorensen. And uh, uh, right now we're getting into the wages. We're discussing their contract. And uh, they do accept it. And we do sign these two players. Two very high um, you know, potential players that I really want to see play. Players that are going to go up in their overall because they're very good. So we do sign Sorensen uh, from this team. I don't know which team that's from. I think it's from an Italian team. Not really sure. Uh, and we do sign Henriksen from uh, AZ Alkmaar. So we do sign those players. A very, very good signing. Uh, in my opinion, those are great signings. Very good young players. And the money that I've left behind, I think I have around $4 million. Tell me what I should do with it. Should I just invest in the young players in our youth program or should I buy another young player? But we do get into our first friendly. It's going to be versus Fiorentina and they're one of the better teams in the Serie A. And uh, they did have a very, very good opportunity here. But Silicon with a great save hits off the post and it saved our life. Here we go with a great opportunity. I think that was Sim De Young that had a chance but it was still nil nil. We went to the second half. We had another chance. And Jesus Christ, Ajax plays pretty damn well. We do get another chance here with a header. But the goalie did a great job on saving the shots. And I can't wait for this Ajax career mode. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. I can't wait to keep bringing out episodes of this career mode. And we do make a goal. A beautiful center. And we make the goal 1 nil. But Boyan does get injured here and they give the guy a red card so we get a free kick Boyan doesn't get injured he just gets fouled and we get a free kick and Fisher goes up to take it and it goes over the bar it just goes over but we've reached the end of our episode if you guys did enjoy this video remember to leave a like and comment if you guys love this Ajax Karuma leave a comment down below if, sh if I should keep it and let's try to aim 30 likes on this video if we do reach that I will keep taking out daily episodes and uh, yeah I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next time